Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So I'm on my walk today. Well, I've been walking every day, really. But this is the second day in a row with my weighted vest. I'm climbing this hill. <laughs> y'all. It's rough. Welcome to Tommy Bikes TV and Homestead. Before we get started, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Like the video. If you want to dislike it, give me a thumbs down. I was up last night. My phone this started. This is all going allegedly. Off. And it was in reference to uh, Tim Norman. Tim from Sweetie Pies. I'll put a picture of him in here in case you don't know who I'm talking about. It stated that he was arrested for conspiring to commit murder. Are you serious? So do you remember his nephew, Andre, who was on the show? I'll put a picture of him in here. Try walking and talking at the same time with a freaking weighted vest on. His nephew Andre was the one that the feds are saying that he orchestrated Andre's demise, his murder. He plotted Alleged. with a exotic dancer and set Andre up. If you heard about the story, tell me what your reaction was when you heard it. It's so unbelievable. As you know, Tim is the son of Robbie Montgomery. She used to be an Ike with Ike and Tina. And then she started a whole franchise of Sweetie Pies. Her son, Tim, had been in prison for 10 years prior to all of this and prior to the show, which was on the OWN network. I made it up the hill, y'all, while talking. So, she opened, it was Tim's idea to shop them for a reality TV show to the own network. Oprah even visited the store, the restaurant and everything. They were based out of St. Louis. But as the show went on, Tim was really biting off more than he can chew. He was opening up, uh, all kinds of other restaurants in her name without her permission they had big disagreements about it even on the show they had disagreements about it she told him to stop doing it she ended up suing tim taking him to court to stop him from continuing to do those things behind her back so there was already you know trust broken there while they were doing the show Robbie's, Robbie had two sons, Tim and then Big Andre. Big Andre died when little Andre was a youngin. And little Andre had been getting in a lot of trouble, you know, back at home with his mom. So Miss Robbie and little Andre's mom, they decided, well, maybe he'd do better if I allow him to come out to St. Louis and maybe he'll listen to you better than he listened to me. And so that's what happened. Miss Robbie got him there. He stayed with Miss Robbie. She absolutely loves her grandson. And all she asked of him was that you do what I say, get your high school diploma, 
and that wasn't easy for him but he did it the other cousin charles her sister's uh son he was even helping andre you know to finish school that was a proud moment for the family they all were at the graduation go forward a little bit you know andre graduates high school um he starts you know being a young and trying to figure things out and not doing all the right things but not out there harming anybody at the same time you know posting pictures of himself on facebook with guns and Allegedly. things like that so basically somewhat wilding out andre went back home to i guess spend time with his mom he he was going to be flying back i guess anyway to st louis to record in the studio apparently the case the records are showing tim had reached out to tim being miss robbie's son her only son that was living because she only had two kids he reached out to the exotic dancer all alleged and the scheming and plotting began so she was the one that was set to lure andre to a certain location good morning good morning so at the time tim was living in los angeles so he flew home, well, he flew back to St. Louis at the same time that Andre was going to be in St. Louis. The girl had reached out to Andre and said, hey, you know, I'm going to be at such and such place, you know, let's meet up. So it shows that her phone, they were using burner phones. They, well, they called them throwaway phones in the uh, in the filing. It says throwaway phones, but burner phones. They were using something they could get rid of. Hopefully, not trace them back to them. And the girl reached out to Andre, and Andre was at that house which was a studio, really. He was there to record music. He wasn't out to do anything to anybody. Well, let me back up a little bit. Tim had taken out a $450,000 life insurance policy. Again, 100. all alleged. He himself was the sole beneficiary on the policy so of course you suspect number one and the feds probably been investigating since andre died andre gets shot and killed standing outside of the studio oh so, all the paperwork all that stuff was filed i think august 11th and they arrested him yesterday and so this was like straight breaking news. People were making videos left and right. And so I got on official D spot, shout out to you, homie. And with this intention to watch, because I, the first video I saw was on someone else's page. Can you imagine what that family is going through? Because there was an episode where Tim and Miss Robbie, his mom, went to the area that he was, that Andre was killed in. She said, I feel like it's, it was a setup. You can see, looking back at it now, how uncomfortable he felt. Like, I don't really want to leave here. He kept talking about how members of his family died on that same street. How grandma house sit across the street. You can see grandma house from here. Can you imagine? Well, his mom, Miss Robbie, Andre's grandma, 
is going through. Andre's mama is going through. The whole family. His mugshot, he's smiling. You just been arrested for conspiring to put a, a hit out on your nephew. Alleged smiling. My prayers and thoughts go out to that family. I pray that in time healing can take place because I remember her, Miss Robbie, saying, You don't know who did it. It could be somebody you know. You could be walking right next to them. You know. Who did this to Andre? They set him up. It was somebody he knew because he got a phone call. He went outside, and when he got outside, they shot him. And to know that that was your son. Your son. After Andre was murdered, a payment was made to the exotic dancer for $9,000. Allegedly. But she deposited a little bit of the money into multiple bank accounts. And then a couple of days after that, Tim called the insurance company and was trying to figure out how to cash the policy. Absolutely insane in the membrane. I'm only talking about it because of how insane this whole thing really is. What kind of mindset do you have to have? I'm almost at the end of my walk. Well, I gotta walk back, of course. Whew, y'all, thank y'all for being here. You did not have to be here. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed to Tommy Bites TV and Homestead, go right ahead. I don't do stories like this, but it was still on my mind. So maybe if I talk about it, I can get that out of my spirit. Don't forget to subscribe too, you know. Sister need help. Today is Wednesday. 19th I believe and I'm going to put this out today just when I get home after I pick my son up from football practice I will put all the information and edit this video so I can put it out today even though I already have a video that will be out today as well I hope you watch that too okay I'm on my journey back so I'm going to let y'all go and if you want to talk about this more, let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll go live. I don't know. Otherwise, I'm done talking about it. Unless I'm on somebody else's page. Um, so again, remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are that person, go out and spread God's love. Enjoy. With distance, of course because of Rona. Peace, love, and light. Thank you for joining Tommy Bikes TV and Homestead. Smooches. Tommy Bikes. Tommy Bikes. Tommy Bikes. Tommy Bikes.